Hey guys, Jenna here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So it is currently 8.56 on, I think it might be March 8th or something. I don't know, honestly. Yeah, it's the 8th. Um, and this is the start of a brand new reading vlog. I don't even know what number this is right now. But Rachel and I went shopping yesterday. We had a big day yesterday. We drove all the way to Somerset Mall in Troy. And that is like the biggest mall in Michigan. And I was stunned. I... Stunned. Like... And we didn't even make it to the other side of the mall. There's two mall buildings connected by a skywalk. What is Frank doing? You don't need to... What you doing, Frank? Anyways, um... So there, this mall was freaking huge. Rachel and I's jaws dropped. We felt way too poor to be shopping at that mall. So we went in did significant damage but we managed to stay on budget and we also went to great lakes crossing mall we were going to go to sea life but the tickets sold out before we got there so that was depressing so we went to a couple stores at great lakes crossing but then they started to close so we couldn't really do much shopping there and then we just went home watched more of the vampire diaries we're on season three episode like 11 i think so, yeah, and then reading-wise, I'm reading an ebook right now and I can't remember what it's called, but this week, I can't remember what day it is, I think it's either Tuesday or Wednesday, but I am going to be resuming Crave and starting Kingdom of the Wicked. And we will see how it goes because they had me working six days this week. This is tomorrow's my only day off this entire week, so that is gonna be a freaking blast. I work 10 to 5 today, I'm off tomorrow, but I have to go get the wood from my shed and then I have to meet a lady to. She's buying my boy bunnies. And. I have a chiropractor appointment tomorrow. Dang, it's hot in here. And then... I, I, I gotta clean my room. And then last night I also ordered my TV mount and my cube organizer so I could start organizing my room. And I'm really excited because once those things are in my room, I can't wait to just try to make it a little bit neater in there. Hey guys, so it is 5.50. I just got home from work. Well, no, I didn't just get home from work. I got home a little bit ago, but we had the wood from the shed that we had to unload for the shed, finally. Yay. And uh, I took care of the bunnies and, ma'am, I took care of the rabbits and stuff like that. So, let me check my notebook. Okay. Notebook wise, um, yeah, tomorrow is when I start reading again. I am going to be resuming Crave and starting Kingdom of the Wicked. So today is my last day of freedom. So let me just go over what I got. I'm going to give you guys the haul from when Rachel and I went to the mall. So the first thing, well, this is not the first thing. Is this is one of the last things I got. But this is the first, the the closest thing I have to me, and this is this little sloth from from Rainforest Cafe. Uh, Savannah hates it, but since we didn't, since Sea Life was sold out on tickets, I decided to just splurge and get myself something that I could, I don't know, remember from Rainforest Cafe is so freaking cool. That's what I have clips of. 
So yeah, this is my little sloth and he's so soft. <laughs> Cafe. We're going to see it. pennies. So cute. Love it. And yeah, I don't even really know where to begin. I also got a shirt from Rainforest Cafe, but it is all the way over there, so I'm not going to grab that right this second. But it's green and it has the rainforest. It's like this, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's kind of green, but it's like that. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a tealish green almost, but Sorry, I'm just trying to grab all of the bags and it's taking me a hot second. So here's the haul. There's a lot, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. But I'm gonna give you guys the haul so that I can start putting it away. Um, so the first thing the first place we went was Forever 21, and I got this really cute bag from there. I love it. And then I got a pair of sunglasses because I don't have any that I can find, and it was really bright that day. My retinas were on fire. <laughs> so, yeah. And then they had a deal going on socks, so I picked up this blue this blue pack, it's got butterflies on it, and then the other side is tie-dye. And I think the middle pair is just plain, like this electric blue color. And then I got this pair that says anti-social butterfly. <laughs> Love it. And then I got a pair with sunflowers on them. And I got this really cute pair that has like the little ruffled trim that's just yellow. And I don't really have cute socks besides my Harry Potter ones, so I was really excited to get those. And then these are really in no order because I kind of lost track of what order we went in. But I went to Urban Outfitters. I was going to get this shirt, but I didn't like want it to not fit me. So I just stuck with not clothes. <laughs> and so I got this tattoo tarot deck. I do already have a tarot card deck, but... um. It doesn't have like the traditional names and meanings so it's kind of hard for me to like learn the deck when it doesn't have the proper like this is the regular three four of wands ace of cups two of swords stuff like that like you know the ones that you can actually learn the meanings to i'm sure i could have learned the meaning to the other ones but this one is just way easier to find and it was a lot cheaper than any tarot deck i've ever seen so I'm a fan. Plus, it's just very, very pretty. So, yes, I got that. And then I got this, like, periwinkle-ish. It, it looks gray on camera, but it's, like, this light, dusty purple. And it's called Steel Magnolias. And I got a necklace from Urban, too, but it's in a different bag because I put all my jewelry together. Then I went to Aeropostale. And... I got this shirt because it was 50% off and it's a Guns N' Roses shirt. Guns N' Roses is like one that I don't have a shirt like any merchandise from so that was fun. And then I got these really cute pair of burgundy and white shorts and I'm not even kidding these are like the softest pair of shorts I have ever owned. These are so soft I cannot wait to wear these. I'm trying to do this decently quick because there's a lot. And then we went to Lush. Lush was actually the second store we went to. We went to Forever 21 first. But I got this Twilight Shower Jelly. And it is so cool. I can't wait to use it. It is lavender. Lang Lang. Lavender and Lang Lang. I believe and it's just like <laughs> oh duh I unscrew it 
definitely can't afford to lose any more brain cells. It smells really good. I'm just not a fan of how badly it's leaking. But yeah, it's just like a little... Oh, the bubbles. It's just like a little thing of jello that's filled with soap and you just lather it up and it's soap. It smells super freaking good though. And then I got a Funfetti lip scrub, which is so freaking good. This taste amazing and makes your lips feel so great and i of course couldn't go too lush without getting a bath bomb so i think the bath bomb i got was called jasmine or something like that it's this purple one and it smells so good i'm pretty sure it was jasmine lavender and vanilla maybe i can't remember but it smells great so that's what i got from lush i have to put this somewhere where i can remember to put that stuff in the bathroom and then i went to altered state so oh this is the necklace i got from urban it's just this silver snake pendant and i love it i've actually been looking for a necklace like this for a while so i was super excited to find that and then oh let me show you the jewelry that i got from forever 21 because that was mostly all i got so i got this silver necklace and it's got the sun and the moon on it and it's got like this little bumped up chain where it's kind of got different yeah and i like that and i got this cute little pair of earrings that are little honeybees with honeycombs off of them and a couple of the the little honeybees have a gem in them and then the honeycombs have a couple of gems in them super cute the jewelry was on sale too i just can't remember what it was on sale for and then these are also from forever 21 they're just like simple gold tassels and i don't really have many post back earrings and especially, I don't have a lot of gold. I'm usually a silver person. There was just a lot of gold jewelry calling out to me to, on that trip. And then for the last of my jewelry is when I went to Altered State. And these are all freaking tangled. But these were so cute. I love them. They're like little crescent moons. And then they have these little like strings of multicolored beads they're like mauve clear or no there's like an opalescent one there's like a smoky gray one and then there's like a light blue one on a gold chain and i just think they were so cute and i very rarely splurge on jewelry so this was kind of like whoa to me and then this is originally the pair of earrings that i wanted so bad from altered state they were pretty pricey. I would never have spent this much on a pair of earrings for myself, but I did it. And it was just these pair of hoops. And they have little, like, daisies all around them. Sunflowers. I will say they look so much cuter in person than they do on camera. I was, like, obsessed with them. I kept coming back to them and I was like... Those are really cute. They're on like a wrapped gold hoop. And yeah, I'm a pretty big fan of those. And that is what I got from Urban, Altered State, and Forever 21. And we went to Paxson. I honestly wasn't expecting to get anything at Paxton, but they had a pretty good sale going on where their shirts and their sweaters, their pullovers were buy one, get one 50% off. You just had to pay for the more expensive one. And I was like, well, sign me up because the shirts and the sweaters were really similar in price. So I got this giant um, bluish hoodie or sweater. And it's got like the North Star constellation. I was a little bit skeptical because this said it was one size and I was like, mm, yeah, okay, I call BS. But I tried it on and it is so freaking comfy. It really does fit like once, like this will fit anybody. So just about anyways. 
And then the shirt that I got is just this mauve-ish colored one that has butterflies on it and it says embrace the mystery, I think. And yeah, I just really liked it. I was gonna get this other one, but when I saw the sweater and I wanted the sweater instead of two shirts, I had to pick and choose. I was gonna get a Fleetwood Mac one, but they didn't have one in my size. Well, they had one in my size, but I wanted it to fit a little bit bigger. So I, and they didn't have a size up from my size. So I just didn't get it. And then we went to H&M, was I think the last place we stopped. And I got this dark turquoise top. It's like kind of got a mock neck on it and it's got gold buttons in the back. And I really liked it. And this was on sale. So I don't feel too bad about it. And then I spent full price on this, but I'm not even mad at the full price. I got this like cardigan and Normally I think these look strange, but this one has just like a low V and a couple buttons in it. And this just looks so comfy. And this was only 20 bucks full price. So I am pretty happy with this little number. Can't wait to wear this. And it's like the perfect weather for it. What the heck is this? Rachel forgot her belt. Not gonna hear the end of that one, but oh, I did get one more thing. I just have to see if I can find it. I got a bracelet from the Rainforest Cafe too. Oh, here it is. Here's the little bracelet I got from Rainforest. Super cute. It's just got like an opalish and set in gold in the middle, and then it's got white and rainbow beads on a white string. Super cute. And yeah, that was what we got at the mall yesterday, not including food. But I wanted to show you guys so that I can put it all away after I eat dinner. And yeah, I guess I will check in tomorrow when I start reading again, hopefully. What it do, y'all? So it is currently... One second. So it is currently... <laughs> Oh, Alexa, what time is it? It's 3 p.m. on Tuesday. And we just got home. So today I got rid of the two boy bunnies. And thankfully the people did show up and the boys are in their new homes. Thank God. And yeah, we went out to lunch. And I, in about like... 30 minutes we are going to leave because I have a chiropractor appointment at 3.45. Um, shouldn't take too long. So I haven't resumed Crave or started Kingdom of the Wicked yet. I've actually been reading an ebook. I literally can't remember what it's called but I'm almost done with it. And I like it. It's just like kind of confusing. I don't remember what the book is called and it's killing me. No, I don't know it. All I know is that it's pretty smutty. It's kind of smutty, but... Um, I'm almost done with it, and then... I'll probably... That's what I'll probably do until we leave, is... Either do that or play The Sims for a little bit. I'm trying not to take my shoes off because it takes me a long time to get my Converse on. But, yeah, so... Once we get back, there's a couple things I have to do here before I run out of daylight. Like, I have to clean the rabbit's cage and I have to take all my trash out. And scoop Savannah's litter box. Stuff like that. Just small things. Because I have to work all week. And I need to, like, just start off with a clean room at the beginning of the week. So that I don't get too overwhelmed. But I figured I would pop in and update you guys. The rabbits did get their new homes. And I'm so relieved. You guys have like no idea. I thought I was gonna. I thought I was gonna just be stuck with the boys. Which. It's, it's not like they were bad rabbits. It's just like. 
I don't have the space and I would just love to see the like I, all I wanted was for them to just be able to go to a good home where they would get more attention. <coughs> <coughs> but anyways, I'm going to play The Sims for a little bit. I did just get two, three more packs last night. I wanted the Get to Work pack and they offered me a bundle deal. So instead of paying $40 for just the Get to Work pack, I got Get to Work, Realm of Magic, and a Toddler Stuff pack for 50 and I was like, are you kidding me? That's a great deal. So, yes, lots is getting done. My uncles are actually over here, and they're starting the base for the shed. And I'm really excited because I had no idea that was happening already. And, um, oh, my TV mount and my organizer are going to be coming in the next couple days. So I will be able to start getting my room organized. And I'm pretty pumped about that, too. Honestly, depending on how I organize my room, I don't know yet, but if I were to angle my shelf, I might be able to set my other bookshelf up. I'm thinking because they're all in a corner, if I angled the one that's in the very corner, like over, and then put the other one right next to it, I could technically have all three shelves there, but I would have to take down all my prints, so... I'm kind of playing around with that idea, but I do have like a little plastic organizer bin right where that would be. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but we will find out. I don't know, but I will check in later once I get some reading done. It probably won't be until later tonight once all my stuff is done and I'm like settled down, but. <sighs> Hello, it's been a couple days. It is currently, Alexa, what time is it? It's 10.10 10 10 on Thursday the 11th. And yeah, you guys haven't heard from me in a hot second. I don't remember where I put my reading notebook. So... Let's see here. <coughs> um, so here's the sitch. On Tuesday, I was supposed to resume Crave, read 75 pages of that, and then... Start Kingdom of the Wicked and read 75 pages of that. And then so on and so forth. And then Saturday I'm supposed to have them both finished. So, let's do some updates, shall we? So Crave, I am caught up on besides today's reading. I am currently on page 253, chapter 45. And this is pretty good. My suspicions were correct. Um, the only issue is that I did not start King Kingdom of the Wicked yet. And I am supposed to be pretty far into this. Alexa, what's 75 times 3? 75 times 3 is 225. It's supposed to be 225 pages into this. Wow. Wow. So I'm super behind on this. I have until Saturday to finish it, but honestly, guys, I kind of got another long week ahead of me. So, I'm supposed to be over halfway through this, and I have not started it yet. I don't have to be to work until 1, but my dad has a chiropractor appointment at 12.45, so he's got to drop me off for work a half hour early. Um, yeah, the past couple days have kind of been wild. Rachel's spending the night tonight, so I won't be getting any reading done after work. 
because I have to work one to close. And tomorrow, my mom wants me to spend the night after work. And then Saturday, I have to work at four. So I'm not quite sure how it's all going to work out yet. I don't really think I'll have a hard time getting caught up. Well, I am caught up on Crave, but I don't think I'll have a problem with that one. I'm beginning to realize that my issue isn't with, like, getting through a book. It's getting through physically reading. Because audiobooks is just fine. Even ebooks is fine because I don't have to have the lights on and a book opened. But, like, I just want to multitask and just do other things so badly that I don't know. I, but, so here's some interesting updates. Um, my cube organizer came, the one that I wanted to organize my room with. So I'm going to be putting that up. <laughs> Just waiting for the TV mount and, um, I'm sorry, I woke up with the worst headache. It's hard for me to think straight, but that came. Oh, they also built the base of my shed and they attached the floor. I think they said they got the trusses put together and the door. So the shed is getting built. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, it's just going to be a long week. I got to work seven days seven days in a row love that for me so yeah i don't have a day off until tuesday and tuesday i will be starting nope nope i start a quarter mission fury and a curse of dark and lonely on sunday i'm not worried about aftermath okay so, if I don't finish Kingdom of the Wicked, I can always move it to March 20th because I have March 20th where I'm only finishing A Court of Mist and Fury and then Sunday and Monday are just rest days and I have Saturday off. One of those days I have to work at 12 to 9, so... <laughs> But yeah, I'm trying to get my reading done, but it's just a little bit difficult when I'm working so much. You know, I asked my boss for the next weekend off, and she only gave me one of the days off. <laughs> like, thanks, I didn't need the whole weekend. It's not like I put it down there for a reason. A reason being because I wanted to bring my rabbits home. But it's fine, it's fine, you do you. Not like we don't have literally 17 people working at Dairy Queen, but okay. Hey guys, so it is currently 9.10 on Sunday the 14th. <laughs> Happy Sunday. Happy Daylight Savings. So yesterday, I've been having a really hard time at work lately. I've been having a rough couple days. And... Really, nothing has gone according to plan. Well, anyways, I just had a rough couple days and I have not gotten any reading done. Um, I had a really bad night at work last night and I threw out my shoulder again. Anyways, um, so yeah, I have had a bad couple days. I threw up my shoulder again last night and have not really had much time to do much of anything. And so I had to close last night and now I have to open again today. But. I'm not having a good time. Um, the shed is done. 
but anyways um i figured i would update you guys real quick but rachel's already here so that didn't really go as planned so i'm gonna have to check in later but i just have to decide what i want to do about videos lately because I haven't been having a good time alexa Alexa. My Alexa's bugging out. Anyways, I'll check in later. Hey guys, so it is currently six o'clock on Sunday the 14th. So I just got home from work a little bit ago. I've been having a rough couple days, not gonna lie. I have been completely absent on my reading. I had a really bad day at work yesterday. I threw out my shoulder at work and it I'm like in a lot of pain right now. So anyways, so <laughs> it's just getting worse. It's not even getting better. <sighs> Anyways. So. My shed is done. It's completely done. My dad and my uncle even built me a bench. Like a table in there for it. Because the shelf that it came with was too small. Apparently. And so they just built me one out of the wood that was left over and so I have something I can put cages on and then like put feed and storage underneath or more cages it just depends and yeah so now I'm just waiting until I can get a day off to go get my rabbits but um huh tomorrow's gonna be my seventh day in a row <laughs> love it and yeah So I just have to find out a time where I can go get that. Really love it. And, um, yeah, so I do have that art. I have an unboxing. Sorry, guys, I'm just like, oh my god, it hurts so bad. I don't even know what the heck I did to it. But I have a chiropractor appointment on Tuesday. Let's just hope I can make it that long. I'm just curious as to how they packed all this in one box. That's all I'm curious about. Huh. Okay. So this is the first thing. And this is an organizer. I'm all about organization lately. <sighs> this is just getting worse and worse. I don't even know what to do about it. I can't even just like sit. I can't move without it hurting. Anyways. So I hate my actual life. But um yeah, I have a chiropractor appointment on Tuesday. And Hopefully they can get some of this sorted out. I don't know what the heck is wrong with my shoulder. So this is an organizer for my jewelry. I've been buying a lot of jewelry lately and I just have a lot that I've accumulated. And I just, I thought I ordered this in black. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal, but I really thought I did order it in black. Whatever. Okay, well, right off the bat, this thing feels cheap as shit. Seems easy enough. Huh? Oh, I see. It's pretty freaking fancy. 
Um, that's literally the simplest thing in the entire world. And you can put this up as much as you want. So we're probably going to do like here. And then you just tighten it. Wow. It's so simple. I'll show you just a sec. Insert the rubber into the pot. Force to twist continuously. And insert into base. Okay. Which way? Twisting it ain't gonna help. Insert the rubber into the pot. I guess that's just gonna have to be it. And this piece is just the... Hey now. Um, Miss Girl. Oh, I was gonna say, this did not come with any rubber. Yeah, no, I definitely was supposed to get it in black. So that's kind of sad. But if it keeps my jewelry secure, I guess I shouldn't really make a big deal out of it. Okay. So this is my jewelry organizer. Ta-da! Yeah, not gonna lie, this is like super cheap. This And yeah, I was supposed to get it in black, but it'll keep my stuff in one spot. Hopefully organized. <laughs> so there's that. I'm probably going to put that, I don't know, somewhere. I'm just not feeling it today, guys. And then the rest of my things are books. There were a couple on my wish list. So, wow, this is a big book. And it's damaged. I love that for me. We love water damage on books. God, I love to see it. Should I be caring? This is pretty bad. Oh, yeah, this bitch is soaked. Yeah. So, the first book I got was Den of Vipers by... K.A. Knight. I've been hearing that this is a really good, like, adult romance. So, yeah, it's got water damage up to, like, page 40. But the worst is up to, like, page 20. You can see the water damage right here. It's a big, big book, though. And then next, I got... Across the Green Grass Fields by Sean and McGuire. This is the next book in the Wayward Children series. And I think this is introducing a new character. You don't really have to read them in order, but it, I feel like it makes more sense. So this one is about a girl named Reagan, and we are going to the Hooflands. Sounds fun. Filled with centaurs, kelpies, and other magical creatures. Hmm. This one sounds like it's gonna be good. Oh my god. And then next, are you joking me? What is going on with Amazon lately? This book is damaged too. I'm not trying to be an asshole, but dang. So I bought The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. It's all ripped at the top. And I don't know what this is about. I just know that it's been on my radar for a while and I just decided to pick it up. Anyways, I'm just not very amused right now. Reading wise, you know, I would really love to be reading. I don't even know what I was supposed to be starting today, honestly. And I don't have my notebook in my desk but honestly guys 
I am probably just going to go back to vlogging when I can because the pressure of having a vlog every week and reading every week is just too much right now when my work schedule is this insane and when I have so much going on. Um, once I get the rabbits home and get a couple of days off, I'm hoping to vlog some more because I had an idea for one of my bookshelves and... I'm thinking that if I scoot my movie organizer down a little bit and scoot my um, TV and cube organizer down a little bit and pull this one bookshelf closer to my bed, that maybe I can tilt the bookshelf in the corner to face the room and then put my other bookshelf downstairs next to it. So I have like three big bookshelves all in like a curve and then all of my books could be in one spot. But... I will still have to see if I have enough space to do that. But if I do, I will probably do like an organization video. But for now, I just need to take a beat because I am just so tired and can't keep up. Hey guys, so it is currently 11.13 on Thursday, March 18th. So it's been a while and I will tell you exactly why. I've been having such a hard time vlogging or anything like that lately. So my shed is complete and I've been struggling to get a day off to go get my rabbits. And I'm just struggling with a bunch of things in general. Um, but the other day, yesterday, my boss called me at work and was like, why do you need so many days off? And I was like, well, I'm still trying to complete my move. And that requires me to go up to my mom's who lives in Harbor Beach for a day or two. And to get my animals and everything like that. And then I would also need time to bring them back home and set them all up and everything. And I have also have a lot of other things going on right now. All of which requires me to take some time off of work. And my boss told me that I am not allowed to have that many days off because it is unfair to the other girls. And this is after, I, there's a girl that works there and she went to Florida last month for an entire week while we're in the middle of a pandemic, right? So that was fine with my boss. And actually, right now, she's currently in Vegas for a week on another vacation. And that's also fine with my boss. But it is not fine for me to apparently request a couple days off for necessary things. And she told me over the phone that um, I'm going to have to pick and choose the days I wanted off because she would not be giving me all of them. So I told her, I was like, okay, you can put me on for one of the days that I originally wanted off, but the rest I absolutely need off and I'm not budging on it. And then she told me that because I took so many days off, that I would have to um, make that up in working extremely long hours next week. So not only am I being punished for doing things by protocol, but uh, she's kind of just taking things out on me. And it's very obnoxious. Today I have to work 12 to 9. So I have to work nearly a 10 hour shift. Because we normally don't get out until like 9.45 when we close. Especially when it's warmer out. And next week she put me on a 10 to 9. Which is open to close. So... So an 11 hour shift and then she put me on another 12 to 9 next week. So she has me closing all next week. She has me working a 4 to 9. Um, she has me working another 12 to 9, a 10 to 9, and a 3 to 9. And all because I needed some days off of work. Like, I cannot make this up guys. She's got a massive grudge against me and I don't even know why. Like, I've called in a couple of times, and every single time she's interrogating me on why I don't feel good, why I'm not, why, why I'm not coming in. And anytime I need a day off, she's asking me, why do you need this off? Like, why? Like, why? And it's like, okay, she does not treat anybody else like this. 
Uh, we have kids that work there who don't do their homework and then call into work because they say that they don't, they need more time to do their homework. And that's fine. But when I literally don't feel good, she questions me about why I'm not coming into work. And we have kids there that are only working two days a week. And she says that I'm the one that needs to be there all the time. Even though we have like 17 people working there. And Rachel brought up a point. She's like, well, maybe she's just trying to make sure that you have enough hours. And I'm like, well, if I cared about having enough hours, I wouldn't have taken that many days off. I'm not concerned about how many hours I'm getting this week. I just needed those days off because there's a lot of things that I needed to get done. that I'm not able to because I'm always at work. So... This has been a big part of my struggle lately, why I haven't been able to read or do anything YouTube-wise, is because work is just really kicking my ass, and it is like I really can't win. So, there's so many things that I need to get done, and either I'm at work all day, or the days that I am able to convince my boss to give me off, uh are spent doing the things that I really need to get done. Like I have an appointment on Tuesday and Thursday is when I'm hopefully getting the rabbits and then Saturday I'm supposed to be visiting a friend before he moves out of state. So I'm just extremely frustrated and I've just been focusing on getting things cleaned up around here and organizing things and of course going to work all the time <laughs> I am somewhat lucky though because I my stimulus did hit the same day as my paycheck yesterday um so I've been able to get caught up in my finances but I am just like so overwhelmed and stressed out work-wise because fighting to have a day off is just so unnecessary if I follow protocol and I put it on the if I put it on the calendar ahead of time and I'm one of the first names up there, she should have absolutely no reason to be talking to me about why I need a day off. <sighs> Especially when she has no issue giving other girls a week-long vacation. Tw two months in a row. So that's kind of my issue right now. I have to work 12 to 9 and Rachel's spending the night tonight. And then tomorrow I have to work 10 to 5 and Logan is spending the night. So, yeah. I was planning on doing some YouTube stuff last night, but I just ended up getting too tired and worn out after doing all my chores. And, yeah. But I will check in later. I just wanted to rant for a minute. Okay, just kidding. I am the master of time management, so... I got ready in five minutes flat and now um, we're going to open my package that just came the second I turned off my clip. I gotta put my socks on though. The only thing keeping me going is the fact that it's painting and that after four hours I get to work with Rachel. Okay. Here's the first thing, and I have less than five minutes to do this unboxing. The first thing I got, how the, well I got a nose ring, um, so there's that I guess, and then next thing, is that I got one of those, um, what the frick is it called? It's a starlight, it's like that galaxy projector, and this one connects to my, uh, Alexa. So, I'm pretty excited. I got it in black. So, I'm pretty excited to try that out tonight. And then the last thing I got in this package anyway, so there's, not, there's like two more coming. Um, I just got a lip gloss. It's uh, by and it's by NYX and it's the Filler Instinct. I just wanted a regular old lip gloss and I don't have one, so I got one. And now I have one. So yeah, that was my unboxing. 
Um, I guess I could try on the nose ring. Alexa, what time is it? It's 11.37 a.m. I don't even see how this is gonna work, but okay. What? In the... Is that even in? Like, is it gonna fall out? Okay, I am not used to seeing myself in the nose ring. Can you hear my cat yelling at me? Anyways, I got a nose ring instead of a stud. Is this gonna fall out? No, it's not. Okay, um, I guess I'm wearing a, a hoop to work instead. Let's see how long it takes Rachel to notice, shall we? So I'm gonna actually put my nose stud in here and take it to work with me in case I get sick of it or in case this one pops out. Cause I don't wanna lose it. Alexa, what time is it? Okay, yeah, I got to go. The reason I'm like so panicked about like leaving is that we are required to be there five minutes early. So, huh? I didn't know how I'd feel about it, but I kind of like it. This is so bizarre, though, guys. Like, what? I feel like it's not in all the way, but I'm pretty sure that it is. So, yeah, anyways, I'll check in later, I guess. What up, y'all? So it is 6 o'clock on Tuesday the 25th. I have an Amazon order, so we're going to open that up. First thing is for Nana. This is a cat harness so that she can go outside and not get splattered on the road. Um, and then I just got a movie. I got um, a Seth Rogen collection. And then I got a couple books. I have been reading a lot of good things about this author. Oh my god. <sighs> that scares me so bad. Stop doing that. And um, so I ended up getting It Ends With Us in November 9 by Colleen Hoover just to try him out. So yeah, but actually we just got home from getting the rabbits. So the bunnies are here. I just want to take breaks ahead and Anna. Um set all my stuff down before I went and got them. So I'm going to go home with the bunnies now. So excited. I'm so exhausted though and I'm starting to get sick. My throat is starting to hurt and I just have like no energy and I've just been feeling kind of blah today. But the bunnies are home and I'm so relieved. I just, I'm exhausted and I have to work a 10 to 10 tomorrow and I could cry about it, but I'm trying not to think about it. I'm really trying not to, but 12 hours, come on. So yeah, I just wanted to share that and I will check in later. Hey guys, so it is currently 11.02 on... Alexa, what day is it? Today is Friday, March 26th. By the way, I have a routine in my life. So anyways, it's Friday, March 26th. And I was supposed to wear... No, I don't want to try it. No problem. And, um, I was supposed to work 10 to 10 today. But, um, yesterday when I woke up, I had a little twinge in my throat. And I was like, oh, Rachel, I have a slight twinge in my throat. She went, oh, no, stay away from me. This happens every year. And I felt fine for most of the day. But once we got the rabbits home and once, like, like I noticed on the way home, I started getting like really tired, like unnecessarily exhausted. And um, I was getting really dizzy and zoned out. And after like I got all the rabbits in the shed here and I came back in, it just got worse and worse. Like my throat got more sore and I got a fever and I was just feeling not good at all. So I am currently sick. I texted my manager last night 
and I told her, I was like, hey, like, just to let you know, um, I do have a sore throat and I am running a fever. I'm not feeling the greatest. I was like, uh, if I feel better in the morning, I can come in, but I wanted to let somebody know just in case it gets worse. And, <coughs> <coughs> oh my God. Instead of waiting until the morning, she actually just called my boss on the spot and told me not to come in. So I am very thankful I didn't have to work today. But I do feel like crap. Um, I chugged some Alka-Seltzer Plus, though. So, uh, last night, um, so my throat isn't as sore. Usually on day two, my throat is, like, unbearably sore. But I chugged that, and my throat feels pretty good today. It's still a little bit sore, but it's not, like, bad, bad. Um, and I'm just more, like, really dizzy and tired. I think I still have, like, a low-grade fever. But, um, yeah, today I am probably going to try to get some of my videos uploaded. Um... I'm kind of sad how March's reading turned out, but there wasn't really much I could do about it, you know? I've been working crazy hours, I've been working on getting my rabbits home, so, yeah. What to do, y'all? Long time no chat once again. Okay, so, I kind of took a beat for the whole month of March. And I'm sorry about that. I am very sorry about the inconsistency. Uh, this vlog was too long and I didn't want to keep running into technical difficulties. So I did just go ahead and cut my most recent clips out of it. Uh, that last clip was from like a week ago. And I have a couple clips from yesterday. But I'm trying to decide if I'm going to keep all of them or if I just want to put them in my readathon video. I'm not 100% sure, but that is basically just a compilation of hauls and updates um, since I've been gone. I had not realized that I had not uploaded since my TBR. You guys must be so disappointed. Anyways, um, so yeah, I just wanted to get that up. I figured I had the footage. I did some hauls. Might as well give you guys something while you wait and yes so tonight i am planning to do a 24 hour readathon a traditional one so i am casually waiting till midnight alexa what time is it right now i have three hours to go until the readathon and i have to get this video up and all i have to do after that is decide what to do with the other clips i am um, I took one power nap already. I slept from like 5 to 7.30. But I'm thinking about taking another one because I really want to try to have a successful readathon for you guys. But don't get your hopes up. I'm tired of disappointing you guys and I promise it's not intentional. But yeah, here is... Just a compilation of things that happened. I didn't have an outro, so here's my outro. I just want to sit and chat for a moment. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the 24-hour readathon.